What's going on guys, Cubologist here, and today we have yet another unboxing from Cubes for Speed. As you guys know, I'm a tester for them and they sent this over, they were kind enough. I actually just ordered one puzzle, the Guoguan Yuxiao, and they actually sent me a few more. So I'm not 100% sure what's in this, I haven't checked the email recently, so let's look at it here. There is the Guoguan Yuxiao. I know I'm saying that wrong, but I think Guoguan is how you say it uh, with a little bit different inflection. I don't know what I'm going to go with. We'll just see as we go along. So let's see here. What else is this? This is actually a YJ Yulong, which I've never tried, but this one looks pretty cool. Check this out. It looks like the stickers are textured, like a carbon fiber style texture or something like that. That's pretty cool. And then we have one more puzzle in here. Oh, this is the new Kong's Design Mayu, their new 4x4. Now, I've heard some pretty interesting stuff about this. Apparently, the first run of these puzzles is a little bit flawed, or there was something wrong with the manufacturing. Anyway, I will have more information about that in the description if you want to check it out. But I'm excited to see how this works out. So let's get into this one first, actually. All right, so here we've got the Mayu. As you can see, the four center pieces here are rounded off. They have one rounded corner, but that's about it. You can see right there that these three pieces are pretty squared off normally. I mean, they've still got a little bit of rounding to them, but they're pretty squared off. And these are the only four pieces that have any significant shape changes. So let's do some first turns. That's actually, it feels kind of tight, a little bit stiff but it feels really, really good actually. I don't know. I'm excited to try this out some more. Now let's move on to the Yulong. Oh wow, this is kind of like, this isn't what I expected at all. When I initially just saw this side through the box like that, I thought it was just a white plastic puzzle with black stickers instead of white. And there were gonna be different color stickers with this texture, but it's like the Studio Cube but a YJ version and a Yulong. That's pretty cool. Let's do some first turns. Bone dry. It's definitely speed cubable out of the box. That's gonna be an interesting solve though. Let's scramble this up really fast before I move on to the next one. Cause I've never actually had one of these puzzles that had the colored plastic under the uniform stickers. But I have to say, I really like the feel of those stickers in my hands. If you had colored stickers that had a texture on it like that, I think it would be pretty cool and I think it would help people grip the puzzle better. That's one of the main reasons I like stickered cubes over stickerless is because of the grip that they give you. But yeah, that looks pretty cool. But let's put that aside. And now the main event. I'm really excited for this puzzle. I've heard a lot of good things about it. And just so you guys know, Guoguan is the producer. It's kind of like Kong's design where it's a designer that Moyu is supporting starting their own cube brand. So we can expect to see some more puzzles from Guoguan in the future. And I hope this is good. Let's see. All right, so it looks like pretty typical Moyu shades, which I really like. I actually don't change these shades. The orange isn't my favorite, but other than that, everything else is pretty standard for me. So let's do some first turns. Okay. Can you guys hear that? Compared to the other puzzles, that's so quiet. I don't know if it's the plastic or what. It's either really dry and really soft plastic, or it's got a little bit of factory lube in it. And judging by that, it looks like it's just really dry with really soft plastic. Let's see here, let's do an R perm. I've been practicing those. This is really good, I don't know. Okay, so 45 is pretty effortless really. I'm not having to push that much, like watch this. And reverse, I'm guessing is pretty good. This is the best out of the box performance I've seen. So that's pretty exciting. I know that a lot of people are hyping this up and I expected it to not be as good as everyone's saying, but this is, uh, this is really, really good. All right, guys. Well, I really appreciate you watching. 
These puzzles are pretty amazing, really. I know that the Guoguan is actually on Cubes for Speed for $15. And now I don't know if these other two are up yet, but when they are, this actually surprised me. I was told that the Mayu was going to have problems with this first run of puzzles, but this puzzle turns surprisingly well. And as far as this Yulong Studio Cube with the textured stickers, it's a pretty cool novelty and I love that I have it in my collection. I'm going to have to solve these or twist these centers so they go the same way. I will have more videos on that for sure. But thanks again to Cubes for Speed for sending this over. You guys have probably already seen this puzzle in an average of 5 commentary. I think I'm going to be uploading that before I upload this unboxing. But if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. I really hope you did, and you'll hear from me really soon, everyone. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey, I've got a pretty special average of five. It's actually my PB average of five, which is fantastic. But there is a downside. So even though this is my personal best, it has a 21 second solve in it. So you guys will see that come up. I totally mess up. My look ahead falls to pieces. I get a little bit frustrated and I felt like my average was over, but it turns out that it wasn't. And I'm pretty happy to be able to show you guys this. I haven't got a PB in a little while.